Hey everyone, Ben Loss here, and I'm going to help you unlock Dragon Age Inquisition's 30 frames per second cutscene frame rate lock. So basically, Dragon Age Inquisition is beautiful. I currently have it on my PC right now, and I have played a total of six hours into it. It is really amazing. I take my hat off to Bioware. It is a beautiful game. And so, um, but there was something that really irked and bugged me. See, my PC can run all these games currently at uh, 144 frames per second and above. So it can, I was running Dragon Age Inquisition maxed out 60 frames per second. It was beautiful, but unfortunately, whenever you go into a dialogue or a uh, cutscene, it locks the frame weight down from 60 to 30 frames per second. And this can be really jarring and buggy for people. And for me, I just couldn't stand it. So what I did was I tried a fix that um, uh, it's basically a, the universal Frostbite 3 engine game FPS lock fix. And so basically whenever it's, uh, it's just a problem with Frostbite 3 that unfortunately uh, cutscenes and animations it sometimes causes the game. Um, developers have chosen, sometimes chosen to lock down the game to 30 frames per second and Bioware has officially confirmed this. And so it, it made me uh, very... Uh, it just it's it, it affects uh, your gameplay because it's very jumpy and choppy and laggy. And so what you can do to fix this is that uh, Need for Speed Rivals and Battlefield Three have and Four have had the same problems with uh, the locked cutscene frame rate, but they've since fixed it. Need for Speed Rivals, uh, to my knowledge, never fixed it. And so um, this is the fix for Need for Speed Rivals. And so what you do is basically you copy and paste this. I'll have it in the link uh, in the description down below. And what you do is you copy, you go to the Dragon Age Inquisition uh, shortcut on your desktop, and if you preloaded with Origin like I did, it will automatically add this to your desktop for you, but if you haven't, if you just installed it from another, ser um, another service, uh, then um, you just create a shortcut onto your desktop. Now click properties and we're gonna um, add this to the end like we did if we were enabling a developer console in Dragon Age Origins or Dragon Age 2. And so what you do is you go to the end of your target directory box and you go to the end here, pass the quotation marks here, space, and then you select it and paste, copy and paste it. Now I personally tried this, that's why it's already there and it works, it's beautiful. There's a little choppiness still, just a tiny bit, but it's way it's way smoother and I expect that's because I'm running on NVIDIA and I'm pretty sure NVIDIA will have a driver out that will currently fix the choppiness, the, the slight choppiness. So if this worked, uh, comment below, let me know. And as always, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe.